other flow. And this is the new, well, one of the new ways of looking through music collection. So, in the same way that you browse up and down, you can find an album you like, when you find one, tap on it, and that will give you the track list in like one. Choose a song, tap on top, and that will take you back. And if at any point you want to go, um, Great. Okay. So this is the music page. We got choices down here by looking for by playlist, artist, songs, albums, or more. So you want to choose by artist. This gives you an alphabetical list of what you've got in your iTunes, in your iTunes library at any point. You can scroll through, either by clicking like this, and go slower, or there's a list of letters that you have better to choose too. So when you find one that you think you want, you can either choose to go into the album, just as you would with the old album. This album song, it'll provide you with the artwork from the album, volume control, backwards and forwards, pause, all the usuals. You turn it this side, and it'll give you what we call cover flow. And this is shipped with all the, all the new iPods that you'll see here tonight. But again, it's a really intuitive way of just getting through your entire collection, show all the album artwork, all single artwork. Choose you want to listen to the killers. You can choose on a song. You'll start playing, and you can exit that song. Or exit that album and keep looking around. You go home. Do exactly the same for video as well. Similar concept. You can search up and down. There's only a few videos in here, but if you want to choose a TV show, for example, like Desperate Housewives, load up. And it plays in landscape. Once again, just tap on the screen to give you all your transport controls from fast forward, up and down, forwards and backwards, all the usual transport controls. Um, you can also tap it to clear all the transports off the screen. So, then you've got photos. And with photos, it's a very similar thing. You're always given the option of scrolling and going through the menu. If you want to look through your library again, very similar, very easy to use. So, for example, you want to take this one. Once again, with cover flow. You can just view it as a full screen like that and still flip through your. Or if you have the photos. Will the accelerometer work whichever way up you have it, it'll always be the right way up. It's clever like that. Right. Cool. And again, if you want to look in, say, one of the cars in the background, you can zoom in by pinching. It just feels so automatic. In or out. Mm -hmm. And you can, once you. Oops, excuse me. Once you've pinched in, you can move the photo around as well. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Here's the web. If you're getting the web, and here we're just showing a um, a standard TechCrunch uh, website. This is exactly the same as you'd find on your uh, you know, on your computer back home. But again, if you want to zoom in on a certain section, we were looking earlier at the Facebook. So there's no resizing, or well, the only resizing you do is by your own design. Yep. So you can choose which section yep. to look at. And again, it's exactly the same, it's just a standard web page. There's no different to any other web page you see on the computer at home, but you're just able to focus in on certain sections. And again, you'll see it refocuses so the text mm. is really clear as well. Um, here's a web link. Hit on the web link. Thank you. You immediately get the address bar. And that takes you through, in fact, to a log.